just thought I'd make a video today, um, probably because I haven't heard the sound of my own voice for a long time. I'm only kidding. Um, this is the white piece. You've seen it before when I've done different areas, and I'm pulled in quite tight here because I, I, you know it's no point you're looking at a video when you can't see the work properly. So uh, these are the things that I've done on it before. So this will hopefully remind you of the piece I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not actually completely sure what this is going to be. This same um, piece. I did start it off, my daughter wants a bed size wrapping cloth um, and you may think oh gosh that's going to take you forever but she doesn't mean a full size like double duvet size, she wanted a long one to go right across the end of her bed so it's probably the same width as a wrapping cloth but um, the length of maybe four wrapping cloths if you're with me. So this is the piece that I started with that in mind but now I'm not so sure. Um, I really, I don't know, basically I just don't know. I was thinking it would make a rather nice pouch. So that's still to be decided and it'll depend on what I use to create it with. Now obviously these are all beautiful pieces of cloth. Um, I love every single one of them. But they're not special in so far as I bought them because I knew they would work within my white on white work. Whereas other stuff I buy because I love it and I adore it and it, calls me to buy it it says oh you know i've got to own that i've just got to own that it's so precious so i haven't used any of the precious 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 stuff in this yet i've only i mean i've only used obviously beautiful things but things that were bought for the purpose of creating to pass on okay i hope that makes sense so the most recent bit is this bit here and this bit here can't find the camera this bit here is three layers of trim. Um, there's only the middle one that's vintage and it's very, very plain. Laid over and kind of in a ruffle, but not gathered up. I haven't gathered it up, I've just, it's just flat. And then they've all been embellished in different ways. Now this top one has got buttonhole lace on the edge. Um, and then I initially attached the middle one with web stitches going across there. And then that was a bit short, so on the end I added a bit of different stuff, fragile scrap that I had on the end to extend that. And then this is brand new trim that I bought on the internet. And that's the third layer. So when I got to last night, I finished my web stitches and I thought, how am I going to, you know, decorate and embellish these? I don't just want to keep repeating myself with buttonhole. Um, so I've literally just join the two, I hope you can see these, there, here, um, the two pieces, the two lower pieces are joined with wraps, so wrap thread extending from the middle one to the bottom one, so that's what I've done that all along and I've taken photographs as well so you'll get to see them, so that's what I did last night and then I wanted to show you Oh, so, I, like I say, I haven't decided what I'm doing with it, but I think most likely it is going to be a pouch because, as I said, about those special fabrics, um, my daughter will probably get something made, including some precious pieces I've got. So, it's probably going to be a pouch, but I'm going to decide that when I start Simply Stitch, when we start on the 17th of June, if you're doing that class. I will probably, almost certainly, still be working on this. So, we'll cover, I will work on this in conjunction with describing what I'm doing to you and sharing that process with you on video so you'll see it morph from this into a pouch it's most likely going to be a pouch I can't see I said before I couldn't decide but when I talk about things it helps me make my mind up so yeah a pouch and I will run through that with you the ones of you who are going to do simply stitch and I also wanted to show you these I ordered these on the internet vintage pieces now these are what i was talking about when i said a piece cries out to me saying you know buy me you've got to own me um this run of lace i bought this now when these came they came from america and they really really smelt and um, they hadn't been laundered and i don't blame the seller for that i mean she doesn't want to launder it and then it falls to bits or something and she can't use it so the description said they haven't been laundered they were vintage in the found state so that's fine enough and i knew that when i bought them so i gently laundered them and this is another one that's a narrower one okay but they're so beautiful and you'll notice here on here there's a rust mark or something here but that doesn't faze me and um, i'll either embroider over it 
or leave it because it's a mark, it's history. It, it says that this has been in existence for a long time. It's part of the history of this piece of cloth, okay? So I won't stress about that. If it was a huge, hideously ugly piece, then yeah, perhaps, but not that little tiny bit. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, well, it's a m memory, isn't it? It's a memory of something that's happened before. So then this narrow piece here, and then this is absolutely lovely. This is like, this has been laundered and it's come white in some areas and not in others. But again, that doesn't bother me. Um, and this is like a table centre thing with a frill, with a skirt. And as I was ironing this yesterday, after I finished laundering it, I found this. This is so precious. So that's obviously to draw it up to fit around a table so that it sits on the top of the table and the, the skirt hangs below the table. So, I mean, I just love finding little things like that. Those details, I mean, they really, really get to me. I absolutely adore them. So that's that piece. So they're freshly laundered and pressed and ready to be used in something. Um, so I just wanted to show you those. And I could have took a picture of those. I took a picture and put it on Instagram. Um, but I don't think you would have got a proper sense of those like you do seeing them up close like that with me handling them. So that's it really then. That's the video for today.